Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about whether or not dental scalers damage your teeth. And before we jump in, I'd like to remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for and my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. So one of the most commented questions on my procedural videos are things like, scratching your teeth with a metal object? How does this not cause damage to your teeth? Does hand scaling not scratch the surface of the teeth? Curious if that tool creates any micro scratches. Seeing this scares me so much because I'm like, what about enamel? So how does the metal hook not damage the enamel? So so, okay, the thing is, no, scaling cannot ruin your enamel if done by a licensed dental professional. And in fact, if anything, scaling your teeth actually prevents damage because scaling removes plaque and tartar from your teeth. And if this plaque and tartar was not removed, if it's left there on your teeth, you are more prone to getting gum disease and cavities. So scaling is actually preventing your teeth from detrimental effects. I know when you're getting your teeth cleaned as the patient, it could sometimes sound like your enamel is being overscaled and scratched. However, although it may seem like that, dental scalers and all the cleaning instruments are designed specifically to be less hard than your enamel. Enamel is one of the strongest substances in your body. And over time, the enamel of your tooth actually dulls our scalers. Because like I said, the instruments have been fabricated to be not as hard as enamel. Hence why dental instruments need to be sharpened routinely. Because your tooth is dulling the instruments, not the other way around. I also have some comments asking about ultrasonic scalers. And some people are concerned about the frequency and the vibrations, if it can puncture through a tooth. Again, when a licensed dental professional is using an ultrasonic scaler, we know which frequency to use for which procedure. So we would never put it on a high enough frequency to damage anything. First of all, also, it's not a drill. So it's not designed to puncture a hole through your tooth. It's not designed to drill through a tooth. It's an ultrasonic scaler. So it's designed to gently remove mineral deposits from your tooth through high frequency vibrations and ultrasonic and high pressurized water. And again, healthy enamel cannot be damaged by this. If anything, it only increases the health, improves the health of your teeth by properly removing plaque and tartar. If you wanna learn more about the differences between plaque and tartar, I will link my video about that in the bottom bar below. Something else worth mentioning is if someone is trying to scale their own teeth at home. This is not recommended because if you do it wrong, you can hurt your gums and sometimes even your teeth too. So listen, hurting your gums, how that can happen is a no-brainer, right? Because one, you're not properly trained on how to use a dental scaler safely, and two, to try to get the proper angles to clean your own teeth at home is just not possible. Even for dental professionals that are trained, it is really hard to scale your own teeth. Think about how when you're at the dentist, the dental hygienist, whoever's cleaning your teeth, leans you back in the chair so you're in our lap so we can see what we're doing. When you're at home looking at yourself in the mirror, it's just not the same. You're not gonna see what you need to see. You can easily poke yourself, which could lead to more than just pain and trauma. It could lead to gum recession and or infections. If you accidentally push the tartar below the gum line, you push it down there instead of properly scaling it out, that's an issue that leads to gum infection. In addition, the sharp scaler, scraper, whatever you bought at the store can also cause injuries to your cheek, tongue, or other soft surrounding tissues in your mouth. So like I said, please remember that your dental provider spent years of training to learn how to properly use scalers safely and all the other dental instruments as well. And we also learned how to determine if there's any areas of decay, hypocalcification, decalcification, whatever the case, we can tell the difference between these conditions meaning we know which areas, if any, have weak enamel and or cementum. If you can't determine which areas may or may not be healthy tooth structure, that's just another reason why it's not a good idea to try to scale your own teeth at home. In conclusion, dental cleanings using both ultrasonic scalers and hand scalers do not damage the enamel on your teeth. Dental scaling safely removes plaque and tartar bacteria that would otherwise cause inflammation and gum disease if not properly and routinely cleaned. Please never try scaling your teeth at home for you are not properly trained and you can damage your gums if you do it wrong. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more teeth talk, you can visit my website teethtalkgirl.com for more dental health and dental hygiene. Peace, love, and teeth.